Yes, what's up my good people, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome so much to our YouTube platform. Yeah, we're gonna be doing this live as we drive, as I show you around. Yeah, you'll be equally in America as well. Yeah, I know a lot of guys have been saying we switched to Swahili, but uh, today I'm gonna try as much as much as possible to broadcast this uh, in English. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome so much. Uh, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Yep, and uh, leave a comment. It really helps us uh, on the YouTube algorithms. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who has been supporting Kenya Marekani. Yeah, it's a privilege to be talking to you wherever you are tuned in. So, let's go directly to what we are talking about. We are talking about some of the questions that you must know when you're going for your visa interview. Visa interview is predominantly one of the like it's a fundamental like you have to nail it for you to get to america it's leave alone money leave alone money you will get but the questions if you don't get them even with money you will not come to america yeah it's easy to convince somebody to help you some money when you have the visa yeah but if you don't get the interview you will you you'll definitely not come to to the u.s you never you never that's and I'm speaking from experience because I've been denied that visa three times, three good times. I'm telling you, it's painful. <laughs> it's very, very painful. Yeah. But uh, it's because I never knew what to expect. And thankfully to YouTubers now, because of the small experience we have, and this Mark is not from a professional perspective, it's just from personal uh, testimony let me just put it as is yeah this is my personal opinion but definitely it will help you yeah so let's look at some of the questions that uh you really must know number one uh the trick is you must at least photocopy the DS-160, yeah, photocopy that form because it has some questions that they will definitely ask you at the, at the interview, okay? Some guys make a very big mistake because uh, maybe you don't have internet access, uh, you go to the Saiba, somebody feels for you, you don't even care about what they feel, you don't care what they say, you, where you work yeah how much you earn such questions you see so it makes it very tricky for you to even understand what the interviewer will be asking you so i will before we even tackle the questions i would urge everybody to at least make sure you photocopy the ds 160 questions so that you will be able to understand inside out yeah and also you can personalize yeah at least make sure if you don't understand english the person who will be feeling for you make sure you are with them so that they they can feel with your understanding yeah you can be on the same page okay now having said that Let's now talk about some of the questions that they will ask. Okay? Number one. They will ask you, uh, for example, who is paying for your ticket or your stay? This is a trick question. This is a trick question. Yeah? They want to know yeah, it, it's it's like it's like the person who had a butterfly in his hand, in his closed palm, and he asked somebody, "Is this butterfly dead or alive?" If you say it's alive, they kill it and they tell you it's dead. Yeah, if you say it's dead, they leave it 
They leave the fly, the butterfly to uh, free. Okay? So those are some of the three questions. They ask you, who is paying for your flight or your stay? They, they want to know if it's you, can you afford it? Yeah? Probably you said you earn 30,000 Kenya shillings or 30,000 Zimbabwean dollars. Yeah? So, they want to, it's a trick question. Oh, let's see. This thing is not going, bro. Okay, now it's inside. Yep, sorry guys. Yeah, by the way, give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. And make sure you leave a comment. So, who is paying for your flight, your stay in the US? If you say it yourself, now the question is, and you remember, you already answered this question, where you work, uh, how much you earn per annum, okay? So, if you say it's you, and for example, you said you earn, uh, let's say, uh, just an amount. And they see, ah, this amount is definitely, this person cannot afford. Because you know, these people are thinking in dollars. So you might be earning a lot in your, in your local currency. But it's not a lot, considering you're coming to America as a tourist. Okay? So, if you say you are the one paying your own flight... You need to show evidence that you can indeed pay for this stay without struggling. Yeah? And that's a very tricky because paying for a tourist in America without struggle ay, can be an uphill task. Boy. Ay, it's not easy, yo. <laughs> yeah? So, and a lot of people always do an extra an extra uh, go an extra mile of just telling the host to demonstrate that they will pay for them even if it's them is the person who is being interviewed that will pay the flight ticket okay and they stay okay question number two is what do you do yeah and you know don't volunteer answers if you are a teacher say I am a teacher but the problem is for example you are a teacher but you say you're coming you're coming to America uh, to sing you are a performer that's a contradiction because if you say you're a performer then it's performing you should that should be your work yeah because you can't you can't just go to perform abroad and you're not a professional musician such that that's your full-time job yeah and also for performance you cannot come under b1 b2 visa and say you're coming to perform unless you say i'm coming for uh for for a church event as and you'll be doing volunteer not for pay okay let's move on to question number three question number three is demonstrate to us that you will come back yeah that question in other words they are they are asking you kindly show us what your ties are for you in your nation yeah ties can vary from many things from uh, your job if you're self-employed you can show i have uh, this and that uh, tender i'm coming to after after the three weeks that i will be in the u.s i'll be coming to do some some of these uh tenders or contracts yeah if you're a performer show that you have a lot of other gigs lined up for you immediately you land from usa 
Another thing you can show ties with is uh, your family. For example, if you have a wife, your children, yeah, that shows ties that you're, you're tied to your family and you're maybe the breadwinner. So you have to come back. Okay? Another thing that you, 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 you can show as ties is property. Yeah? And property can vary from uh, farm, uh, I mean, uh, your house, rental apartments, eh? so many things, even, even your, like, like, like property, assets, your assets as a form of ties, okay? Also, taking care of your parents, that can be as well as ties, yeah? But you just have to portray somebody who has confidence. Tell us, tell us, tell us. No papers, tell us. But then tell me if you can hear me loud and clear. I'm not sure if I'm communicating. I see my internet is up and down, up and down, up and down, because I'm driving. Okay? So, that question for the ties, you have to demonstrate clearly that you don't want to stay in America. Also, in terms of ties, they can ask you, uh, if you're a single person, single girl, single man, they will ask you, are you intending to be married? They will ask like a joke, my friend. Yeah, are you intending to be married in America? You say no, 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 and don't answer anything else. Just say no, period. Yeah, because a lot of guys in uh, volunteer information. You know, in America, I came to realize that if, for example, I'll miss work, I, I, I just say I have an emergency, family emergency, Tosha. You're not supposed to say I will not come to work because my mom uh, fell and she broke her knees, so I took her to the hospital. Before I go to the hospital, the car broke its tires, blah, 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 ra, 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 nani alikuliza yoma suwali hote. Yeah? Who asked you? That's, that's private. And when we say private, it's private. Yeah? It stays with me. Yeah? You're not part of our family, you shouldn't know. Yeah? So don't volunteer information because if you volunteer information, you will end up lying and you will end up looking for another lie to cover that first lie and keep on, keep on, keep on. The embassy of the United States does not like liars. If they see any characteristic or any instances where you are lying, outrightly, you will not get that visa. Okay? So, and that's why I said in the first time when I started this video, I said, make sure you know what you filled on your DS 160. Yeah? So, if you are not aware, then you will go and talk gibberish there and not be accurate in terms of the information that is written because you realize the interviewer does not does not look at you by the way they look at the questions they look at the questions hey, it's it's freezing outside man wow it's cold so Another thing they will ask you is how long do you intend to stay in the US? Yeah, and they don't ask you all these questions by the way. They can choose what to ask depending on on your paperwork. Yeah. So they ask like um, maybe at even Mark, some people they they've been asked just two questions or three and they get it or not get it. Okay, 
So, they will also ask you, how long do you intend to stay in the United States? This is a trick question. You've already said you are a very busy person in Kenya, you have this and that job, you cannot stay in America, but then when they ask you how long you will stay in America, you say three months or five months. They, they will ask you, who will be taking care of the things back at home? Yeah? So, if you're a busy man, just say you're going for one week, two weeks. Yeah? Don't overstay. Don't show that you're, you're, you're coming to stay. Yeah? You just have to, to show, if you're busy, let it stay like that. Because people who are busy cannot travel for three months. That's too long. Who will be staying with your business? Yeah, who will be staying with your children? If they, you said you have three children, four, two, and one, who will be staying with those children? Yeah, even if you have your mom, you have your nanny, they cannot stay with your children for one month. That's how the American think. Let me tell you, Americans value family. You know, you we always say that in America people divorce, divorce, divorce. My friend. They divorce because they don't they don't know how to pretend like us. We can pretend with somebody for 50 years and you don't even hug, you don't kiss. Yeah, there's no romance. Yeah. Those are some of the things we 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 blanketed people in America. Americans are good people. Yeah. And they know how to love, they know how to stay with family. So, if you've said you have small kids, they they know they are in their they are in the in the kids' shoes now. Why are you leaving us for three three months? Yeah? Hmm? And it's not something you don't even show how busy you will be in America to stay in three for three months. Just to go say hi to your brother. You can't stay for three months saying hi. Saying hi, you just need two, three weeks, you're done. Yeah? So that's a very tricky question and a lot of people get caught up with that. Yeah? You say you're coming for four months to say hi to your sister. Or for a wedding, you are coming for four months. Yeah, a wedding. A wedding. Four months. <laughs> yeah? So don't leave gaps where these people will see a loophole. Yeah, you know they are there to attack you. They are there to make sure you don't go. So it's you to prove you need to go and come back. Another question uh, they will ask you. All the questions they will ask you. Some of those questions they will trick you at the port of entry. And they will ask you uh, the same question but in a different way. Like at the embassy in Nairobi they asked you. How long will you, how long will you stay? How many months? How many weeks? Then the port of entry, they will ask you, uh, you, will leave the, you will leave the US after how many days? You see, same question, but they've just changed it to, into days. How many days will you leave the United States? In how many days will you leave? So, they've already calculated that, and they can easily catch you. Because if you said three weeks, those are 21 days. Yeah? So you say in 21 days, I believe in the US. I don't intend to stay. Yeah? And sometimes they will ask you, apart from, will you intend to be married? That's a no, a big no. Will you intend to work? That's a big no. You cannot work. Uh, on pen and paper, you cannot work if you're coming for a visitor, as a visitor. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching by the way. Just give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate and leave your questions. Leave your questions on the on the comment section. Because I might not be able to read your comments. You are live chats. Yeah. So, those are some of the series of questions that they will ask you and you really need to know.
Okay. They will also ask you, who will be taking care of your business while you are away? <coughs> who will taking will be taking care of your business? Your children, yeah? Your business, your your school, yeah? You will have to have an answer. Yeah, thank you. Watching from Spain. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much. Mbaru, um, Asante Sana, Mary Mbaru. Thank you. Uh, let me let me see some of these comments. Oh, yes, we are hearing you. Thank you so much. Yeah, from Lusaka. Yeah, Zambia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mkenya Marekani is not only for Kenyans. Yeah, let, let the name not deceive you. We are here to for all our African people. Yeah, people from India, people from... Uh, all over the world yeah and as, as as you can see the weather yeah it's all misty and foggy yeah the temperatures are dropping and especially in the morning it's way too cold way too cold yeah so something else is where will you be going a lot of people always say the state you need to say the address or the small city. Yeah, if you say the address, they will see you're, you're very specific. Yeah. And the address is not P.O. Box. Don't confuse the two. The address is not the P.O. Box. Yeah. They might also ask, what will you be doing in the, in the four weeks that you'll be there? You need to have an itinerary. Yeah, I'll be going for a wedding. After the wedding, I will be visiting. Uh, I'll be sightseeing Seattle. I'll go to this place and that place and that. You need to have those places in 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 your fingertips. Yeah, of course. You're saying you're coming as a tourist, so you should know those places. Yeah, I'm going to visit Mount Rainier. Uh, my host will take me to yeah to uh, see. Uh, I, those sightseeing yeah they want to do this they too will do this yeah they need to see that you'll be busy and you know what you'll be doing there they don't want to see you're coming here to be a, an idol or to become a, a liability for the government yeah and here we obey traffic lights when it's red it's not go <laughs> yeah, red means stop. Yeah. Yeah. So then I think in in my next video I will be talking about how to how to represent yourself how to dress you know all that stuff also will contribute towards you getting that visa approval yeah so those are some of the questions and uh, my friend don't be afraid man don't be afraid don't get there also too early because some guys <laughs> they will they will transnight at the embassy one hey yeah they will not sleep and then also don't tell don't tell everybody even in your church pray for me i'm going i'm going to the embassy uh, so pray for me because the more you tell people the more you will have more people to explain to especially if you miss <laughs> And the more it will hurt you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel and this is my personal opinion. I feel like going to the embassy does not need prayer. It just needs you to prepare. Yeah. I've never seen in America here people holding at national national prayer for class eight candidates or for candidates. Well it's if you read, you will pass the exam. If you didn't read, even if you 
we take oil from a uh, refinery company and put on you and swim in that oil, you will not pass that exam. Yeah, I know we believe in miracles, but my friend, <laughs> there is no way, there is no way a, mir a, a formula will be dropped from just a thin, thin air and just have it and write it in a math exams. Na nada. Yeah. So for me, I think it's logic. These things, these things is you prepared, you know it. You can't say that the church will pray for me and you don't even know the questions that are in the DS-160. My friend, you will fail and you, you will start saying your God is a failure. <laughs> yeah? So, preparation is a good thing. Prepare. Prepare. It's better you do thanksgiving. Yeah? Because God has given us brains to think. Yeah? You don't need to ask permission again to think. Yeah? When your dad when your dad gives you when your dad gives you uh, pocket money in school, you don't go ask him what should I do with this money. You use your brains to use this money well, and you know if it ends before the term ends, ah, sasa wewe kusha mambo yako. You will be seeing others eating bread or buying uh, those mandazis. While you wait for the ugali, uh, the yesterday's ugali <laughs> in high school. <laughs> eh? So, yeah, that's besides the point. Anyways, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. The embassy is a very, <laughs> you get there, you feel like you're in the U.S. already. Because the atmosphere is different. As in, even the environment is so different. You just get there, you... Oh, jeez, look. Yeah, don't be afraid, man. And also remember to to refer if it's a man, refer to them as sir. If it's a woman, you can call them ma'am. Yeah. And also don't use don't use yeah, use use proper English. Yes. Yes sir. Yeah. Yes ma'am. Don't don't say mm. Yeah, we don't use bush language there. Use proper English. Yeah, if you don't know how to speak English, come with a translator or ask a translator. They have translators over there by the way. And that's a job by the way. People can apply for. If you are good in Swahili languages, uh, Amharic, I don't know what. There's a lot of people from Northern. They come there, they don't know anything. They don't know even English or Swahili. But there are so many of them who come here. So it means there's somebody who interprets for them. Yeah, thank you guys for watching by the way leave a, leave a like leave a like on this video leave a like on this video and leave a comment a question if you have a question leave it on the comment section i'll be tackling those questions yeah i can't read all your all your live chats but also you can press the dollar sign on the chats just press the dollar sign and uh yeah bless the work that we are doing here bless this work that we are doing here yeah so once you get that visa at nairobi is not the don't be jumpy too much yeah because the real inter the real passing the real entering into canaan is at the port of entry yeah a lot of people have been returned yeah and and it's not let me just know let me not call it politely returned yeah those people <laughs> are ejected to be ejected yeah is to show that you can even be uh, you can be even be uh, red flagged for 10 years 
That means you cannot come to America until your 10 years is done. Yeah? So, at the port of entry in the Mamboyote Eco. I don't want people to be reported when they just enter America. Keep the same answers that you had. If you said you are not coming for business, don't bring stuff that you they feel you would be selling those things. Yeah? It will look like you lied. Don't bring things that you're not supposed to bring. Don't bring too much cash, over $10,000. Yeah. Yeah, America they they are very keen with cash and fund embezzlement. They don't want none of that. Yeah, I decided to put the screen like this so you can see part of America. We are in a place called Lakewood now. Yeah, they say Lakewood is Lakewood, uh, Lakewood is better than at least better than Tacoma. Tacoma now is ghetto, ghetto. They say if you're walking, if you're walking with your phone, hold it nicely. But I think that's exaggeration, man. Yeah, this place is where the Christmas trees. I'm gonna show you in details. That's where the Christmas trees. Yeah, they're already setting up Christmas trees here. Once Halloween is done. The mood for Christmas is out now. Yeah. And when you see these trees, they're too dry. They're not. They're not uh, fire firewood. Don't come uh, with an axe and at you trying to cut these trees because they look like they dry. They are dry. Yeah. We are in a, in, a, in a season called fall. So, as the name literally suggests, leaves fall from the trees. Yeah. Last week I was hit. My car was hit just here. This is the spot where I was hit. Even today, I'm driving with a dented car. But the police here are not too idle to stop you every time. Yeah, and tell you why are you driving a dented car. But uh, like, uh, it's a good thing I'm going now tomorrow. The insurance of the other person. Yeah, I'll 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 I'll, I'll do that video. Yeah, so that you are aware. If you somebody hits you, use their insurance. Don't don't use your insurance. Your monthly premiums will go up. Always use their insurance. And if it's a serious if it's a serious accident, make sure that you get a lawyer. Yeah, you might get lucky and get so much money from there. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to an end of this broadcast. Hope you learned something. Please, if you're new here you found a home yeah all related stuff with kenyans in america africans in america this is the platform for you yeah so subscribe and click that bell so that anytime we have new content you'll be the first one to watch yeah Yeah, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. We'll catch up tomorrow. We'll catch up tomorrow. Amanam Nagani. Thank you for driving with me. Thank you for driving with me. Yani camera in a car we buy a coil. Yeah. Nane Pomoja. If you've not subscribed, like, share. You can also click that dollar sign or click the join button so you can join our uh, platform and become a member. Yeah, be paying something small just to support us, brother. Yeah, 
we go out of our way to just bring some of this content. Ama namna gani? So, thank you. I appreciate your time. God bless you. Tuonane badai. Yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers. Ciao. See you when you see me. God bless you.